Okay, uh, good morning, uh, Professor David J. De Los Reyes. Okay, my topic for uh, this morning will be lesson number 12 on college algebra. The, in the title of the topic will be the usage of formulas and uh, how to compute percentage problems. Okay, uh, let's proceed. This will be college algebra, lesson number 12. The title of the topic will be the use of formulas and uh, percent calculation problems under algebra. Okay, uh, uh, what is a formula? Formula, uh, actually, it is an equation. Okay, the definition of a formula is that it is an equation that describes the relationships of variables. An example of a formula will be something like uh, example number one. Okay, I will give you example number one for a formula. For a right circular cylinder, this is the figure. Okay. Uh, this is a right circular cylinder. The radius will be R and the altitude will be H. And under the study of mathematics, there is there are certain formulas uh, that relates to the variables involved in this right circular cylinder. An example of the formula is uh, the formula for taking the volume. So this is a formula. There is an equality sign. And uh, there are notations on the formula, like this uh, capital letter V here, small letter R and small letter H. So this capital letter V, R and H are actually the variables. So if we try to go back to the definition of formula, a formula gives us the relationship of the variables. Okay, like in the computation of the volume of a right circular cylinder. There is a, a general formula for this one. So the variables involved are the radius, the altitude, okay, and uh, the volume content. So if we try to bring out the formula for taking the volume, volume will be pi r square h. So we could say that this is a formula because it gives us the relationship between the three variables that is the volume, the radius, and the altitude. So that's a formula. So when we, we go to the so-called the geometry subject matter, we will be using these ones. But uh, for tonight, I, we are just only discussing what is a formula. And our example number one is the formula for taking the volume of a right circular cylinder. Okay, so <clears throat> the variables involved in, the, in taking the volume are actually the radius and the altitude. Because to take the total volume of this, you take the area of the bottom, which is pi r square a circle times the altitude. So the area of the circle at the bottom times its altitude is referred to as the volume. And this is the formula. Also, at least uh, we now know what is a formula. Uh, what is the importance of a formula? Uh, when we go to the so-called subject matter differential calculus, uh, there are uh, maxima, many pro maxima minima problems under the application which involves formulas. So the problem in the differential calculus problem is actually you must have to know the formula involved and the variables involved, okay, then try to differentiate, use your knowledge and algebra in the simplification process to solve for the unknowns. So actually, this is uh, the subject matter differential calculus. It will be a combination of your knowledge of formulas, your knowledge of differentiation, okay, and your knowledge of algebra to bring out the final answer. So that's the importance of the formula. 
So I will repeat it. A formula is an equation that describes the relationship of the variables involved in the given equation. That is formula. Okay, uh, let's try to bring out another formula. Capital letter S for a right circular cylinder is actually the total surface area. Total surface area is actually the area of the top plus the area of the bottom. So it will be pi r square. This number one, number two. So this is times two. Plus the area of the lateral curve. The lateral curve, if we try to spread out after cutting it out, okay, uh, we cut this one into half, then we try to spread out. So this is actually the total area of the curve area. Okay? And the length around is actually 2 pi r, 2 pi r, which is actually equal to the circumference. And this one here refers to the height. So the area of the curved surface for a, a right circular cone will be 2 pi r, the product 2 pi r multiplied by h. So this is 2 pi r multiplied by h. Okay, 2 pi r multiplied by h. The area of the curved surface, the area of the top and bottom portion. So capital letter S represents the total surface area. 2 pi r square will be the top and bottom area, the top, bottom and top area. And 2 pi r h is actually the curved surface, this one. And this is also a formula. Because uh, it gives us the relation of the radius in altitude with respect to the total surface. That is a formula. Okay. Uh, we will be using these ones when we go to the so-called maxima minima problems under the application of differential calculus or other problems under geometry. We will be using these formulas. So for now, if you could insert these uh, formulas in your mind, we react, right? Volume for the right circular cylinder will be pi r square h, the area of the circle portion times the altitude, that's the volume. And for the total surface, it will be the surface area of the top, that's the surface area of the bottom, which is 2 pi r square, plus the curved area. If we try to cut out this one, it will be something like this. It is a rectangle. After spreading it out, it will be a rectangle area, in which the length will be 2 pi r, which is the circumference, and the width will be the height. So this is 2 pi r, so this is a formula and this is a formula and that's the definition of a formula uh, it gives us the description or the relationship of the variables involved okay example number two if we try to consider for given time a sphere a sphere it's just like the basketball right the formula for taking the volume as an example of a formula Volume will be four thirds by r cube. Okay, if this is the radius of the sphere, okay, uh, we will mul uh, we will raise that to the third power, then multiply that by four thirds times pi. That will be the volume. So the only variable involved in the formula for taking the volume is uh, the radius of the sphere, because uh, the only uh, what you call this. Uh, Measurement for a sphere is the radius or its diameter, right? So, capital letter B here refers to volume, small letter R refers to the radius. This is the radius, right? Or the next formula, uh, another example of a formula, uh, it will be capital letter S, which is uh, 4 pi R square. For a sphere, the total surface area around it is just like a, a small globe, right? It will just be simply pi r square, but for a sphere, this will be four times. Okay. Uh, I will just give you this formula, this one now, but uh, when we go to the subject matter integral calculus, actually we could derive this one. So meaning to say, uh, these formulas are actually derived from integral calculus. 
all the formulas under uh, geometry are derived, were derived from integral calculus. That also uh, the formula volume is pi r square s actually emanates from, it was derived from integral calculus, even the surface area, even the volume of a sphere, okay, even the surface area. It was all derived from integral calculus. Okay, uh, that's an example of a formula. Oh, this uh, we are just uh, studying the concepts of formulas in relation to algebra, okay? Because when we, we go to the other subject matters, uh, on our, our way to the, to the other subject matters, we, we might be using these formulas here. That's why there's a, a topic on their college algebra, use of formulas and percentage calculation. Okay, uh, that's formulas. Uh, what is a uh, percentage calculation? Percentage calculation, uh, we try to bring out, uh, there is also a formula for percentage calculation. Okay, so this formula and percentage are actually interrelated, right? Uh, percent is actually partial value over the total value times 100%. That's the general formula for taking the percentage of anything. Okay, uh, I will give you an example of, uh, this is just the formula, uh, uh, because there are so ma many variations in the percentage calculation, right? Like in the percentage of Y maybe, how strong it is, okay? Uh, I will give you an example for this percentage problem, uh, I will try to read the problem. The Los Angeles Lakers has 84 wins and 78 loses. Find its winning percentage. The problem is asking for the winning percentage. Uh, are they going up to the semi-final or going to the final? That's why the owner of the Los Angeles Lakers movie want to find out its winning percentage if it's really within the goal to reach the semi-final or final team. Okay, uh, let's try to bring out the solution. Uh, these problems always uh, come out on the short videos uh, on YouTube, right? Percentage problems. It's an easy thing, as long as you remember this formula here. Percent of anything will be partial value over the total value times 100%. Oh, this is the standard value for taking the percentage of anything, right? This will not change. So for the solution of this one, the Los Angeles Lakers has uh, won 84 wins, right? Okay, so the total wins for the Los Angeles Lakers, this is just an example guys, right? So 84 games. The total games will be the total uh, winning games plus the lo lost games, right? So the total games will be 84, the winning, winning games plus the losing games. So 84 plus 178, it will be 162 games total. Right? That's the total. So the total that uh, refers to this, total value here is this one. For this example. Okay? And the total wins is 84. Right? And uh, the owner maybe is asking what's the winning percentage. So percent winning for Los Angeles Lakers will be games won over total games. This is multiplied by 100%. Okay, game slow, it's 84, because uh, this is winning, so the numerator should be winning, right? Okay, and the total games is an actually 162, 178 plus 84, 12 kiri 1, 16 kiri 1, 262. 262 right this should be 262 sorry for that one 262 no no uh, it's only 78 it's 162 12 carry 1, 162. 
right? Total games uh, is actually 162. So the ter winning percentage will be games won over total games. It will be 84 over. Oh, this is 162. It's 162. So 84 divided by 162. Hold on. 84 divided by 162. Okay, uh, 0.5185. It's correct. Times 100 percent. So we move the decimal places, uh, two places to the right. So the percentage is 51.85 percent. Okay, uh, that's an example of a percentage problem. There are other variations of percentage problems like. If we mix water and gasoline, okay, uh, they might be asking what's the percentage of the water with respect to gasoline or what will be the percentage of gasoline with respect to the total uh, mixture. It is something like that. But the formula for taking that percentage per, uh, solution will be always percent will be partial value over total value times 100%. Okay, uh, that's it guys. Uh, that's the topic for tonight. It's the or the use of formulas in relation to algebra and how to compute percentage calculations. So at least we now know what are formulas. It involves uh, the relationship of variables. Okay, in an equation, that's a formula. And for the percentage calculation, it will be percent. This is a general formula. This will not change. It should be a partial value over total value times 100%. Okay. Uh, good morning from Los Angeles. Uh, this is for, uh, Professor David J. De Los Reyes. Uh, my channel is at youtube.com slash at pro David J. De Los Reyes. If you want to subscribe to it, please click subscribe. You will learn something from it because I am discussing concepts in example problems under this long video format okay good morning from los angeles this is professor david j delisrae